Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Dr. Pallavi Chaturvedi and this is the next video of China. The remedy that is going on and which was first discovered uh, by Dr. Hanneman, the homeopathic powers, how uh, it is efficacious for malarial fevers. Now let's see uh, as relating to the first part, uh, the cheerful side, the vivacity, the excitement, the lascivious, uh, the sexual thoughts and uh, the gourmand, gourmand he is uh, so full of uh, uh, desires for rich things in life, branded clothes and all. Okay, now what happens to this foppish person, to this dreamy person? who wants to just uh, enjoy his life basically whatever comes in life he doesn't want to care he doesn't want to bother and he just wants to go on with doing things what he loves to do personally no matter what happens with the world my uh, 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 things should be done and they should be done in a superfluous manner without any hindrances in life you know nobody should come in my way let me just do what i love to do okay that could be anything and it makes sense it makes sense to him and uh, uh, he has that he has got that conviction in what he loves to do it is definitely uh, there uh, in him the talent is there the artistic the creative side is there he knows what to talk and how to deliver the content and uh, you know how to present now what happens with these creative side uh, people and uh, who have got those uh, little uh, intellectual side now uh, is the world ready to take them on is the world ready to accept uh, them the way they are is the uh, world ready to nourish and nurture their uh, vital uh, fluids their energies which are over uh, enthusiastic in them okay is the world ready no the world is not ready and uh, especially if it comes uh, in a female the world is never ready and it, if it comes in a male also there are so many expectations from boys also once they get married or once they are growing up you know you the first priority you have to first start earning get money in the house okay your desires are to be kept aside that's what it is so then ailments from begin, ailments from after being abused in a marriage, ailments from anger with silent grief, they can't express themselves, they hold on to themselves, their morals are there, ailments from mental exertion because they are trying to uh, uh, bring a balance in the both uh, uh, ends, like the one end is their mind, what they are, the expectations of society at the other end is their heart their true desires and they're trying to match them both you know uh, as i told in the earlier case uh, the weekend parties or the weekend uh, photo shoots the weekend exhibitions and the other side monday to friday doing the job dung, 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 dung. and you know uh, a mechanical side and a um, hardcore uh, 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 desireful side so that uh, balance is not uh, um, he is maintaining, he is trying to strike a balance and that is what is exerting his mind. Ailments after mortification, mortification comes from people who don't understand him. And uh, after disordered stomach is the general theme of China. Now what is stomach disordered? Uh, stomach uh, is what? You know, stomach is accepting whatever the mouth is giving where is uh, the food coming in the mouth the mouth is getting things from the environment just imagine whatever we eat everyone knows that it is not only the food that is coming from my mom okay or um, uh, made by my cook or you know I am uh, cooking it uh, it is coming from the vegetable vendor from the farmer from the grocery store and there are so many spices added to it which are coming again from different sources so <clears throat> your stomach basically represents your accepting of your relationships your spiritual connection with the food the spiritual connection with the food is with your connect with everyone around you okay especially your family and your close ones so if you are not able to accept what they are giving you or what they are telling you your stomach goes for a toss okay 
So when there is a stomach problem, psychodynamically we tend to ask this question, right? That uh, what you, what is it that you're not able to accept? What you're, what is it you're not able to digest? Digest is the question we ask for intestines, but for stomach, what you don't want to accept? What you don't like? What they are saying? Okay. So uh, this is a general theme for China. A gourmet person who wants and wants good things in life is not able to hold them is not able to accept them okay then there are certain rubrics which also indicate towards ailments from of china like there is dullness after dreams so he dreams dreams is something at the subconscious of our mind you know i would just love to be an actor i would love to be a singer like you know uh, we have our uh, uh, academy uh, student dr manisha is there she's from hong kong and she makes those classy funny comedy videos so that is her creative side and at the same time she's a homeopath also so you know uh, uh, i'm just giving an example that how these dreams get fulfilled in such people they will strike a chord between both the ends you know one is their work 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 other end is their creative talent so this is an example okay if suppose somewhere this is not happening the person after dreams you know tomorrow i will do this tomorrow i will go for hiking tomorrow i will uh, go for a party or tomorrow i will go for this seminar that i it was most awaited and then your dream is shattered and you become dull okay dullness after dreams so it was it's just a dream it can't come true uh, nobody is going to allow me dullness after loss of fluids so again fluid is the most vital Vital uh, 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 component in our body to function our body fluid is very important so if it is fluid the blood flows you know your life flows if it is not fluid solid components are not going to make that circulation happen okay so fluid is very important and then there is delirium after depletion depletion is what again you are spending a lot in depletion and depletion leads to weakness so performance gets affected De delirium after hemorrhage hemorrhage is blood loss uh, massive blood loss hemorrhage so again important things going out of your hands out, out of your life then delirium from loss of fluid fluid again that fluid component that makes your flow of life happen okay and uh, then what happens in china is he goes into anxieties anxiety torturing anxiety uh, uh, with suicidal disposition bed jumps out of bed to destroy himself but lacks courage so this is the initial state of china which uh, in which they are not able to express in which they are overthinking and they keep things to themselves and there is a state of fever coming in prodrome during anxiety fever prodrome during a delusion as if she did not touch the bed uh, lying and uh, online delusion faces sees in the dark so which are these faces which are these faces which are coming in dark which are bothering tormenting hindering wrong suffered delusion wrong suffered has china so uh, delusion vexations and offenses fear of domestic animals again domestic animals for whom he is doing so much or she is doing so much they are their own people and she is providing them everything but then she is fearful of them because they are only going to come as a uh, hindrance to her uh, fear approaching of others lest he be touched okay then there are other uh, fears of uh, fear of being hurt emotionally fear of injured and uh, you know china seems to be like natural muir also at times there is a common rubric between them fear of being pitied they don't want others to know what this problem is and uh, they don't want others pity you know taras khana so they don't want that ki people should uh, uh, have pity on me they are haughty people they will keep things to themselves they will try to manage on their own and um, hypochondriacal after eating sadness with stomach complaints hypochondriacal driving to suicide confusion of mind from beer and weeping about an imagined need that what would 
be my need imagine need if i need this if the need is what need is something that i need to do this this is your inside desire innermost desire which comes out is becomes the need imagine need that if i need to do this if i need that then who is going to give me who is going to allow me so that is what makes them weep and uh, fear to fly into rage that is their fear first and then eventually that rage happens that anger happens and anger from caressing moros with uh, uh, moros from caressing caressing aggravates weeping from being caressed caressed aversion to they don't like it so angry that he could have stabbed anyone you know um, then uh, anger inclined to vex others they will keep pinpointing they will keep poking they will keep pinching the thought the uh, uh, the thing which is uh, causing them that torment that uh, uh, the thing which is bothering them the thing which is making them angry and the person who is making him angry he will she will keep saying that same thing to the person making him realize that you because of you i am suffering so much that person he will not stop pinching or poking and uh, closing eyes aggravate they can't stay without expressing themselves or uh, shying away from it they will want to face it and tell it okay contemptuous of generally accepted values now what happens you know dr krish had taken one lecture on china in which he showed a case of a lady who got married at an early age and uh, that was uh, around 22 or 23 and she had just started dating and the parents came to know about it and they got them married head on because they didn't want to uh, take a chance or you know uh, why to take a risk if they are dating then better get married but then after getting married at the age of 34 35 she developed some uh, reproductive system problems and the history came out that she was having a lot of sexual abuse and uh, marital abuse uh, from the husband and husband's family and uh, she had to undergo a uh, uh, prolonged divorce proceeding now throughout this proceeding she was um, not uh a- able to express and she was living in a lo- lot of anxiety and a lot of fear but then what happened that as the proceeding went on you know there is so much of questioning that happens in this kind of proceedings that uh, she started getting lot of anger over uh, whatever uh, wrong had happened and whatever they did to her and this anger she started becoming so vocal about it and this is what happens when too much happens then uh, the person goes into an extreme state so uh, uh, he had mentioned that uh, you know the system uh, the contemptuous of generally accepted values so generally accepted value is that you know you are my husband i should look after you and no uh, I, i am supposed to behave like a so and so wife and all but then those values they get broken that uh, the uh, system that value system gets shattered it's, it gets broken and the uh, female or the male he is not able to accept them and they have a lot of contempt for it that who the hell made such rules and who the hell has done all this in the world that you know you should follow these rituals and you should follow this path get lost and you know i don't care and i don't want to follow all that anymore because i have had enough okay this is the extreme they go into and uh, he had also mentioned one term that you know patriarchal patriarchal system in the society where the male domination is so much and uh, the female has to undergo these things in life and uh, this is what uh, is shaken inside china that why should i do this why should i you know uh, and i will not do it and uh, you do whatever you want to do and that state comes where they become very bold okay dictatorial hard hearted and uh, they will become careful they will become cautious that now on i will think before doing you know rather than just plunging into taking any decision uh, as per my heart or my desires then there is a single remedy rubric irresolution alternating with irritability uh, uh, you know this irresolution is there whether i am going to be there in this marriage i'm not going to be there in this marriage whether this uh, work is going to work out for me whether this job is going to be there or it's not going to be there that 
and irritability together it is a very unique combination so uh, this uh, common set of rubrics uh, could disturb us to being quiet wants to be sensitive to noise and delusion hindered by everyone caressing aversion kill desire to loved ones irritability when excited malicious malicious hurting others feel people's feelings and in ang anger inclined to vex others they go hand in hand so uh, there was this case of a man who was having psoriasis and he was having allergic rhinitis and he was not happy with his uh, current work because again and again whenever he used to go to work that ac that uh, uh, cold weather and uh, his nose would start dripping and he would have sneezing headache and that was hampering the progress in his work and the anger that would come into him as he would enter the house the 2 year old child also he would just slap him and then he would feel so bad that you know i shouldn't have slapped my child what is his uh, 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 he has not done anything wrong he is just coming to meet me but i am only not in a state to enjoy myself with him so the morals are there the anger is there and the uh, threshold crosses when hinder hindrance and torment feeling comes up and up so this is the core of china and do like comment and uh, subscribe uh, to my channel share it with your friends i hope you like them and uh, the last part of china we'll do in the next video till then see you take care of yourself the monsoon is on its peak and uh, enjoy yourself ichchf seminar coming up do register yourself very very soon because dynamics is something you cannot miss it is going to be a dynamic connection between you all and our masters through all of us at ichchf so register soon guys bye bye